what's going on? Whoa, turn that way down to us. Going on, we're having the music. What is happening, everybody? You guys are doing well. It's good to see everybody here on a little Saturday night trucking here with American Truck Simulator. You guys are doing well. Silly Valley, what's up? People glad to have him Low Located 3. Hello, Corian, what's up, man? I uh, got a boob in here. Freightliner fan, Thunder Wolf 50, get these guys in green. Patrick D, what's up? Zebulet 213. Like I'm still yelling. Zebulet! Road Roller, what's up, man? Apps on 850. Patrick D, Brian King, what's up, man? Good to see you guys. C Pain in the house. What's up, Lex? Hello, Love Machine. Hunter Binkowski, what's up, man? Keep chill. Uh, 397 is the engine size. No. No. I think so. Yes, yeah, located three. <laughs> the 379 is up, so we're gonna actually get to check it out today. Uh, check a few things out that maybe some guys don't even know we're doing. So we also got two things, man. I couldn't figure out how to really, really do this. So we'll talk about here what we got uh, here in the back here really quick. So you guys do not go anywhere. I am doing well, so uh, good to see you there. Rebel Mike down low to Juicy. What's up, Maddie B? Mark Rusk in the house. Matt Munson. What's up, man? Edible King. Good to see you there, Edible. Uh, zest. Uh, they're not up to date. Zest. That's easy. <laughs> With an X in the mod folder. That's it. Yeah, they're not up to date. Richard O'Neill, what's up, man? Uh, good to see you. Well, three. Did I did I title it wrong? <laughs> Please don't tell me I titled it wrong, man. <laughs> hey, silly Sally and Thin Air Diesel 175. Thank you, man. Appreciate it, buddy. Oh, it's 379, man. Not 397. <laughs> Thank you there. Appreciate you guys. Thank you all for the super chats. Get things started off right, man. Thank you there, Thin Air, thin air and also Silly Sound. I appreciate it very much there. That John, Tyler, John Taylor. Thank you, man. I've got a link if you guys want to uh, grab one of those. Uh, they're actually pretty cheap. They're like uh, 25 I think. Uh, and it just fits right over the butt box. If you have one, it's a great a little addition. So I'll tell you what, we got a lot to explain. So let me go ahead and explain this real quick. And then let's do some driving. And then we're going to do some looking at all of the stuff just to give uh, some guys that might be a little bit late, uh, like I usually am for streams, give them a chance to get back in here and uh, and catch up and not be coming in here an hour in and going, what are we doing? Like I didn't miss the update. So we'll try to like – We'll try to get all this in there. So you guys don't go anywhere. We got lots on this here in the next uh, in the next little bit. This is it's actually going to be a big stream. Uh, so hope you guys are ready. We've actually got some really, really, really killer stuff here. So don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. All right. Well, here we is. So we've got um, some some we guys. Yeah, we got some stuff on the dock today. We've got a lot of stuff. So uh, you are looking uh, here at the new 379 update by Dom's Diesel and Chrome Shop. So that is coming in. Or Tony Speaks, thank you there for the two dollars super chat as well, man. Look at that. You getting a shout out here before it even pops up in chat, man. There it is. Thank you there, Tony. Appreciate it, man. As always, you guys are awesome, man. Um, so we've got uh, Dom's uh, Chroma Diesel Shop 379. Links are in the description of the Facebook page. This one's 40. Now, I've done a bunch of uh, videos on this already. It's an absolute gorgeous truck. It really excels in the interior. It's really, really, really pretty in this truck. True 379 dash. Um, and uh, interior as well as that front and fenders and the hood and everything is like what, what it should be. Um, and it does have a few different headlights. But we're going to kind of go through all of these things. Uh, thank you there, John. Good to see you, man. Thanks for subbing. Appreciate it. Uh, so we're going to kind of take you through some of the new stuff. We've got new cabs on this thing. We've got um, all kinds of new chassis and frames. And, like, it's it's really, really, really good for those guys that wanted a couple different builds. And Matty B with a $5 donation. Thank you there. That, that, I don't know, something about that. That Yeah, that one coming in, man. That donation sound just, man, makes me You're going to hit a hit with a wall, man. Whole, a wall of dollar bills. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you there, Matty. Appreciate it, man. Uh, so we're going to be kind of looking at that today. Also, uh, we're going to be driving through an area that was redone and reskinned for California. If you guys watched my last State of the ATS game, it's basically where we stayed. But I have not driven in there in a live stream, so we're going to take a look at that as well. And also, we're going to be taking a look at the Fontaine Drop Deck, which is a brand new update here from Pinga. So, hey, Thin Air Diesel. Oh, man, what the 20? What's up, man? Appreciate that, Thin Air Diesel. 175 man with the twenty dollar super chat. All right, man. Don't go on it Saturday night, man. Everybody's like, my gosh, let's get to driving, boy. <laughs> oh, thank you there, Patrick Woodcock. What's up, man? With ten dollar super chat as well. 
Holy goodness gracious, man. Guys are awesome, man. Appreciate it, man. Uh, yes, the extra wheels do go down, Parker. And they, they're functional the way they should be. So it's like, yeah, all right. Like, modders doing their job. Woo! It's good stuff, man. And, and I have a Z-Bullet, I know. Well, they're, they're still working the template, so they got to, you know, re basically redo everything. So, <laughs> uh, at least from the scanning on the uh, template. So, we're at solid colors right now in the test phase. So, this is uh, at least, uh, this kind of gets us up until the point where he's getting really close. He started out, and I think he's in exhaust folders where he said he was at. So, he's kind of adding some more things here and there. So, he will be coming back to this. He will be adding this back into it. Oh, Matt Munson joining up with the sponsorship, man. Appreciate it, Matt. First month, man. Well, I uh, hope you stay with us, Matt. It's good to have you along for the ride. I uh, hope you guys are ready for this ride. Um, and then we will, uh, yeah, we'll get going. And let's actually, you know what? No, I can't do that yet. Show you in the map where we're at, just in case you guys want to check it out. We are in Eureka, this all new 299 here. And all of this right here got re rebuilt by SES. So, for everyone that's going to ask me, you know, what mod is this? This is all default SES that we'll be seeing. And we're going to actually go into Redding. We'll go into the shop. We're going to show you the truck because so it's really like a 140-mile trip. So it should be super quick. Uh, and then we'll give you a sneak peek on the Fontaine from Pinga. It's the drop deck, uh, which is really, really, really nice. So here is the uh, the truck and all of its uh, outside glory. Let's uh, tell you what. Let's back up here and let's... Um, Oops, oh, goes. hang on, hang on. Where do where'd we go? Where'd we go? There. <laughs> no bad. <laughs> I see some questions there. I ask you guys, what's up, Moses Lito? Good to see you, man, as always. It's almost done, Lim Machine. Yes. Yes, it's it's getting very, very, very close. So he's uh he's got to finish up the last few things, and some of it's just kind of like tidying up the ends, you know, getting the template and getting all the skins back, you know, wrapped and stuff the way they should be. Uh, on the paper, which won't take long to do, but um, it's just something since he's created all these new cabs, they'll have to be put in that. But that shouldn't be should be a huge, uh, a huge waste of uh, time for all of us to sitting around just waiting on it, twiddling thumbs. So here is the 379. I'll show the interior here uh, really quick. These are all the wheels and tires do come with his truck as well. So these aren't like a special mod; they come with his. Uh, and very, 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 very nice. And this is probably I'm going to say. Um, one of the best drop decks that I've seen for ATS. Um, I would only put Bart's and and Pinga's drop deck in the same category. Uh, this trailer is absolutely amazing. Um, everything from the chained down tie downs to where the hooks come out, like where they're actually supposed to. <laughs> I mean, uh, you can do painted, you can do, but the loads and stuff are super good. Like he's got everything is all... Uh, he's got all the wood splits in here just to break all the pieces up and keep them all from, from jumbling up on one another. They've got these really cool ramp. Uh, you got the ramps up here. You got the ramp holders. And all of these, uh, you know, all the ramp supports, I should say, not holders. Uh, those can do painted. You can do chromed versions of this. And look at these, like, high-res stickers. Like, I mean, this is Pingus. And I know a lot of people, you know, they, they kind of harp on Pingus some. But, dude, he, like legitimately has done a really really good job with this trailer um you can do painted chrome you can do standards uh, i've got john rudis uh actually no these are the single wides from um uh, what you might call it from uh smarty's wheel pack the rear of this truck looks good man all of the um all the bells and whistles the fenders down to the mud flaps so we'll take a few peeks of this and show you guys what we got uh and then we'll uh and then we'll do a little more, more driving tonight so yeah, look, the loads look good. I'm going to show you guys a little bit more here. We're just going to pull this uh, little quick 140-miler uh, uh, out of uh, Eureka. And thanks for all these subs, man. Thanks, Brains Sergio. Thank you, Sergio. Sergio, my gosh. Sergio, thank you, man. And DSGO 401. So uh, it does look legit, Joselito. I mean, and that's coming from, like, you know, Joselito, he's seen a lot of payware mods. I've seen a lot of payware mods. Um a lot of the guys at my channel have seen a lot of payware mods, so you know if we're all in here going, man, that's legit. You know it. It really, it really is. <laughs> Jamal, oh my gosh, man, appreciate it, buddy. Twenty dollars super chat there from Jamal, man. That's awesome, dude. Appreciate you guys, man. Heck yeah, man. It's good. It's good Saturday night, man. Man of Brazil. I know, man. <laughs> I know it's the, it's the, it's the. Uh, tell you what, hang on, I'm gonna. I'm going to up my my turning speed for my uh, track IR. Hang on just a second. Let me, uh, uh, there it is. Let me grab this sucker right here, and I'm going to turn this up a little bit so I don't have to turn my head so far. 
It gets a little bit annoying after a while. Uh, so we are in uh, we're in the C15 60 uh, sorry not 605 we're the 800 horse uh, Cat C15 uh, 6NZ from Z Mods and we got a 391 rear so uh, or at least I should say tranny not rear end but and we got the 391 transmission in there so we're gonna do some uh, pretty uh, pretty uh, I think most of these are pretty heavy let me look here and see what we got. Uh, yeah, these uh, PVC tubes here are uh, still at 92,000, which seems a little heavy for this trailer. Not for the trailer, but for the loads. Uh, if they're PVC, they shouldn't be that heavy. Unless there's like a lot of them on there. So, thank you there, Jamal. Appreciate it, man. Thanks for being you. Well, thanks for you guys being y'all. So, it's good, man. Uh, it is not officially out yet. Yes, and I made that very clear, too, in the description. If you guys want to go check this out, bookmark it. We'll obviously do a video when all this stuff goes out and goes uh, goes full live, but just kind of wanted to set that set that up for you guys, and that way you kind of at least know what to expect uh, whenever it does finally, uh, whenever it finally does hit. So, yeah, the tubes are filled with cement. Your favorite load, Joselito. <laughs> Your favorite load. <laughs> Any new interior? Yes, he will have interior just like he had before. He's cleaned a lot of interior stuff up. Uh, but yes, you'll have a lot of the same interior options. As for any kind of like new, big, newbie, you know, kind of stuff, I have no idea if he's got anything big kind of planned in for this. So, Air Boss, what's up, man? Thank you there, buddy. $5 uh, donation there. Going to need a Mac Dumper. And a <laughs> oh, that's funny, man. <laughs> Thank you there, Air Boss. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> and I'll, uh, we'll lower down the, uh, where are we going? Going left. Uh, control left nine, Cooper. Control left nine, buddy. That'll fix it. All right, so now we can go ahead and drop her down. And it's a steerable axle, too. So you'll find that the truck will still drive straight within a certain range. Uh, but there is something that happens though on this one that's interesting. Uh, once you really do try to turn way off of the spec, it, it actually will, won't let you turn. Um, it's kind of harder to turn all three of those axles, so it's kind of like a simulated. So you do really, it, you have to like push the wheels up, you know what I mean? Like you have to do it. There we go. We get, we get a little bit on that. So what color? I don't know what you call this. It's kind of a cross between a, I don't know, it's like a, it's, it's like a creamy color, I, I like a creamy green. Is that a, is that a, is that like a, is that a color? Like, I don't know, maybe. I was about to say, I, I, we're going towards red here. Thank you there, Brian King, man, $15 donation, man. Helping support the stream, man. Appreciate you, buddy. Looking forward to seeing new trucks. I am too. This will be, uh, for a lot of people, this one will be new. Uh, there's a lot of chassis updates, which you guys just hold tight. We are going to check these can uh, chassis updates here once we get into Redding, uh, which are only 120 miles out. So I'm going to take you guys through the new SES reskin part of California. If you have not seen it, uh, stay tuned. And then we're going to go check out some of the trailer stuff. And then we'll go check out, um, go check out uh, the truck a little bit, kind of show you around that thing. So. You can do the chassis. This is pretty much the stretch without the wheel duty, if that's what you're asking. Uh, so you can do this same setup without the without the lowered axle in there. And uh, it's like a stretch, and he's got a lowered version, he's got a raked version. So basically the back end stays up, but the front end is raked out low. It's this new little SES is almost like a new mini map inside of uh, California. So it gives me some hope that they're going to actually really do a really good job in California eventually over the last little updates. This is all free, nothing, nothing paid for here. So yeah, driving with Logan, I, I, I'm with you, man. I think it looks absolutely fantastic, man. That door sounds like. Nah. 
I don't think I have the uh, Steam mod active that changes that. So, <laughs> hey, David. Yeah, you probably know a little something about this truck, don't you? <laughs> What's up, Cobra Gaming? No problem, man. And if uh, if anybody else, man, uh, if anybody asks a question or something I miss it, don't 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 be shy, man. Just put it back up in chat. It's fine. Yeah, mods here are super, uh, super laid back, super chill on that kind of stuff. So, what's up, Mike Ivy? Good to see you, man. Lowered axle, the ch this chassis set up with lowered axle plus stretch. So, this is pretty much the stretch. Pretty much. So, hey, Zebo. Oh, we just about took us out. Somebody gets this truck for tonight's stream. I think we can, Mike, can make a hammer. Look at that, man. $50 donation there from Z-Bullet 213, man. Getting this truck. So somebody's going to get a truck plus an update when it comes out. What do you say? The crowd goes wild, maybe. They're like, meh. Meh. It's always hard to tell, uh, it's always hard to tell what chat, what you guys are doing. What you guys like. Meh. I'm going to drive Vipers 389. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, man, y'all are hilarious. Patrick, everyone's just gonna leave. Don't say that. But like, ah, I'm probably not gonna win anyway. I'll just go ahead and leave. <laughs> oh, see, see, yeah, that's right, see, man. You, you'll take it if you win it. That's a difficult. Look at there. Make a Bigfoot there on the uh, murals. Anyway. Patrick D. Thank you there, man. $10 super chat there from Patrick D. All right, man. Stepping up to the plate with a home run. Appreciate it, man. Yes, Dom's is 40. Yes. And right now, you'll get a full sleeper plus, um, plus you'll get a, I think you get a couple of chassis with it, chassis colors. It's uh, split up a little differently now, but you, what you're looking at here, guys, if you guys decide to buy this or decide to buy the, the flatbed here that we're uh, also featuring here on the channel uh, tonight, this will both be updates to the mods that I've linked you to, okay? So if you get the mod, you're like, oh my God, it's not the same thing. This is the update for it, all right? Just got to make that clear, man, because I know somebody will be in my DM box tomorrow morning going, it's not the same truck you showed. Yeah, I know. <laughs> that <C> bullet. <laughs> Look at that Tyrell. Well, you guys ain't half bad, man. Not half bad yourself, man. I like my Saturday night cruise, man. Saturday night, you always meet some new guys because, you know, typically during the week, you know, people got to work, you know, do things like, you know, can't stay up late and watch a guy and play video games. So, the weekend's a little different, you know, you got a little more time to space out and do some stuff. So, Uh, yeah, but should we, I mean, I'm hoping we get that thing early. Um, I, I'd love to be able to do some vids on that, do some streams, kind of previewing that truck. I don't know if he's planning on doing that, but it'd be awesome if he did. So, Daniel Goodson, what's up, man? We can always use another truck. That's really <laughs> Y'all see, we are headed to Redding. So this is all part of the new California reskin. So we're on that Highway 299 out of Eureka back east. So uh, a lot of people don't even know that any of this stuff up here has actually been redone by SES. So I'm just I'm here to put you on the 411 that it has been. So new gaming. Thank you there. Thanks for the sub, man. Check out everybody else in there, too. Uh, next convoy will be whenever TMP updates. Our convoys are just too big to do it inside of eight players. Um, so we'll we'll do that as soon as TMP updates in for 141. So hopefully not too long. I don't know if you guys saw their if you guys saw their last uh, I guess their TMP update. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully it won't be too long till they they get stuff going. So I would love to see the uh, yeah. And I'll tell you what, man. Uh, so for you guys that are that are looking forward to John Ruda's KI Shadowwalker, which is another friend of this channel. Uh, does some great old school truck mods, um, and then does some Aussie inspired mods, um, or at least the stuff you normally will see on the Aussie side. Um, but he does some really, really awesome uh, trailers, and you know, kind of like the road train trailers. Uh, and he also is going to be doing a 362 
and it is bad to the bone. So uh, it'll be nice to have two of those things because competition always breeds excellence in uh, our modding communities because somebody's got to step up to the plate if they're going to do some of these mods that some of the other guys do, you know? So that'll be exciting to see. <laughs> neighborhood realism. <laughs> Uh, so where would the update get sent when it gets released to have Dom's truck? Okay, so Dom's truck usually comes out via Google Drive. Uh, so you see, you will see your update come through on the Google Drive uh, that he shared it. Now, I won't alert you, so I have to probably check out the Facebook page for his group to make sure that you know when that truck uh, has been updated. But then again, I'll also be driving it when it gets updated here on the channel. So you can also, you know, use my alerts in the streams and that kind of stuff to tell when it does but you can go and download it from your google drive so pretty good um i actually really like this truck because for a lot of the for whatever reason man i a lot of the trucks especially that have lower chassis don't handle the third axle very well um and uh whether or not they're stretched whether or not it doesn't matter see they all seem to have problems with them uh, this one is really has actually done really well. The only thing you really can't do on it is when you turn real sharp on a 90 degree, you know, taking a, a new road, you do actually have to lift up the uh, the wheel. Like it's a it's a thing, which which is really nice actually. <laughs> yes, he paid. I guess I'm guessing you'll have a new truck. <laughs> oh man. Yes, they are gonna have some. I like that. I like. I like that. Usually, though, I'm still that from you. I'll give you creds though. Crispy interiors. I like that. This interior is very crispy. Yeah, you know, Ki is doing it, man. He's gonna have a crispy. And I saw it, dude. And it looks. It looks good, man. I was extremely impressed. I was like, man, look at this. I would tell him to get after one of these old trucks like that, man. Something that he would excel in, you know, real square body, kind of old school truck, man. So I'm, I'm, I'm tickled to death that uh, that he's doing it, man. Um, as for right now, not too much, at least in the test version, Mike. There's a lot of things that have been cleaned up, um, uh, so I'm sure that there'll be some new things added in. Like you'll have your you still have all of your dash and all of those things, but most of the update, at least from what I can tell in the test version, is most of it is having everything to do um, with the exterior. So more cabs. Uh, I think there's three or four cabs on it now and about 10 or 12 chassis. We're going to take a look at them here. Lots of new parts, bumpers, uh, lots of rear guards and headache racks now. Um, and so it's, 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 it's getting very customizable like very customizable so really good stuff man a couple new headlights uh he's got some new grill combos as well which is really nice so uh, you can actually create a few different builds with this truck now which will be pretty nice I and i think that's uh for the most part i think is is one of the things that we're kind of as we get into these payware mods or you looking at new mods you want mods that kind of give you more than just say the stretch six by four you know you want something that's gonna that's gonna last and you can do heavy haul with it build up a truck with it you can build this with it um, and uh, and so yeah, it's all good to have those those big ones in there, or big amounts of uh, large amounts of builds and stuff is always a good thing. So, oh yeah, Night Rider, well, I got a link if you guys have a button box. Uh, that's from ASP, the guy uh, Jim Kelly sent that down to me, uh, and he's got these some of these printed up. I don't know if he's got anything left, but uh, pretty cheap on the face plates to get these printed up. They're they're pretty cheap. He had about ten or fifteen in stock, but I'm not sure if he still does. So. Hey, Connor in the house. <laughs> yeah, I know, Z. I know, man. And you guys don't go anywhere tonight because uh, Z Bullet just uh, just forked out a really nice update for everybody. I mean, a nice uh, deal on this tonight. So you guys are going to get a shot at uh, at winning this uh, winning this truck tonight. I want to see if our uh, our giveaway bot is uh, is successful tonight. So. Oh, thank you there, David. Appreciate it, man. All right, man. Man, you guys are, you guys are 
Man, y'all are y'all are clicking tonight, man. Y'all must have had a really good week, man. <laughs> like a really good week. What's up, big homie? Good to see you, man. A button box. We did actually do a button box uh, giveaway, Night Rider. Um, those things are pretty expensive, man. So we have to basically we we sell enough of them, I guess, through there. They kind of keep track of them. But did I miss my spot? I think I, I think I did. No, I did. Um, and then uh, and then every now and again, ASP will donate one of these to give away on the channel. So that's really cool because they're they're about you know I guess by the time you customize them, they're about three hundred bucks. It's pretty uh, it's pretty it's pretty pricey. Appreciate that, Dave. It's always good to see David in chat anyway, man. He's uh supports viewership like crazy because he's in the UK. So he uh he's he's here most almost every stream just hanging out and uh and does it really early in the morning. So I am very much appreciative of that because I know <laughs> I wouldn't be getting up for no streamer at three or four in the morning. So thank you for what you do, man. Appreciate you. No <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> All right, let's do this here. Thin air, thank you there, man. Another 10 from Thin Air. He says it's being a little thick air up in here, man. Appreciate it, buddy. See <laughs> what <Well>, you tested. <laughs> uh, well, I appreciate that, Dave. That's what I meant. It's very nice, man. Like it, man. Like it. it sounds mean. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and drop this bad boy off, and then I'm gonna take you to the shop, and then I'm gonna check while we're in the shop looking through all this stuff. I'm going to, um, we'll see if our uh, giveaway bot see if it is functioning uh, tonight. It sh it should be. <laughs> we're gonna hope it is, because if it is, then that's what we'll do. We'll set this up. You guys can enter, uh, and then we'll just carry this up for the next load or whatnot. Uh, look at this, and even when it's in its rested position, you got a little, uh, got a little strap there to keep your tarps all nice and folded at the front. Oh, this is, you know, it's the small things. I'm like, man, it's, uh, it's pretty awesome. All right, let's uh, see if we can tail it out of here. And these are steerable axles too, I think. I think these things steer, which helps. Uh, but it doesn't quite get you around the uh, doesn't quite get you around the corners. All right, let's find our shop here and uh, let's put a mark to it. And uh, see, Redding's got look at these. Redding's got all these nice big old parking garages and stuff. Not parking garages, truck stop park lots and stuff. Pretty cool. Uh, okay, there it is. Uh, DJ, so tonight's the tonight is the sneak peek for this. All right, uh, so this will be coming very soon. So we're doing a little sneak peek on uh, on Dom's, and then also a sneak peek with the Fontainer. Uh, and then at the beginning of this week, I'm gonna bring you guys something completely brand new on the Kenworth side. So another masterpiece out of the TNT modding crew. So yeah. like it man it's a good i like a drop deck uh, you know bart's there for a while kind of ruled the road um but i tell you what after bart's update and pinga's update i don't think you guys really need to even fool with buying another uh, either buying or downloading another drop deck like these two ought to just become your standards they're just they're just that good bart's is going to be great man and pinga's is uh, already fabulous he's got a few little last minute things he wants to clean up with the mod uh, get a few last uh, last bit uh, things kind of fixed uh, and, and uh, I don't want to say perfected because I think these mods are about, imper about impossible to perfect. Uh, but at any rate, he's going to get the last few things cleaned up and then we'll uh, then we'll have it. So, uh, Warrior, no, this is uh, this is a Z mods, uh, the C fifteen six N Z. You'd be a bit. <laughs> 
Oh, the giveaway numbers? No, no, man. I can't do giveaway numbers. That's like my last resort. I hate giveaway numbers. Everything's all good until somebody picks the number twice or some, you know, you get two people pick the number. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> Mr. Axewiz, thanks for the sub, man. And Jonathan Orndorff, thanks for the $2 super chat, man. Dude, I totally, I totally I skipped right over that one, man. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that. All right, let's see. Let's find out our shop. Uh, there it is. Cobra. Oh, my gosh, dude. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, thank you there, Cobra Gaming. Holy wow, dude. Oh, my goodness, man. How about, gosh, we have the three of his trucks. Uh, <laughs> I'm just like, I, I don't even know what to do now. It's the K Wamper, K -Wamper Shopper. Shout the Roach. <laughs> K Wamper Shopper. Oh, my gosh. We got three now? Woo! They get their Cobra gaming. Oh my goodness, man! <laughs> y'all are y'all are y'all are killing me tonight. It's a good night, man. It's a good night. Appreciate you guys. Y'all, Redding's awesome, man. Red Redding is good. Uh, we do play. Uh, so let me answer a couple questions here. I see coming up here. Uh, trying to recover off all that, man. You guys are awesome, man. Want to donate these to to guys. Uh, very much appreciate it. It's Jeffrey uh, two sixty. So do you ever play? We do play Truckers MP right now. We're not obviously because it's not updated for one four one. We typically will have ETS on Friday nights, um, and then we do a big ATS convoy. We're usually fifty plus trucks on ATS on Saturdays. Um, of course, now we'll see how that works with uh, convoy and uh, convoy mode and other things. Whether or not people actually get back into TMP. I know some guys have said they're not even going back to it. So. Um, which is kind of a shame, but because it's the only way we can really do our convoys, we can't do them on the on, on the main convoy thing anymore. So, uh, at any rate, yeah, that's what that's what we're gonna do. So, Mr. Purple was up. Uh, yeah, sled net, yes, yeah. Well, yeah, we'll get to that this week. <laughs> Where we get it, Keezy? So you can get the the original. We are actually looking at the update of this. So this update is gonna be coming out shortly. And let me make sure. I tell you what, guys, just give me a give me a quick hot second here. Uh, I am going to uh, log in here to Streamlabs, and let's see if I can get the giveaway bot. Let's see if I can get this bad boy rolling tonight. Um, and that way, I'll go ahead and open up a giveaway for this. And a little bit of giveaway, and we're going to get this started. That way, I can just start funneling out. We'll do it for. Uh, let's see, where are we at? We're at Thirty-five. So maybe do like 30 or 40 minutes, and then we'll have a couple of, uh, we either do a drawing or two. It's fine with me. <laughs> You'll join my VTC. I don't care if you join that VTC at all. <laughs> uh, the biggest thing I want guys to do is actually get in and uh, and come hang out in Discord. Now that That's really, for me, man, that's where it's at, man. That's where the fun stuff is. And you meet people, and I've met some really, really good online friends. Uh, through the Discord and meeting up. So, Thin Air Diesel 175. What's up, man? Another 20. So, making it rain up in here, FTG. Appreciate it, man. Man, very much, man. It's awesome, dude. How do we give a donation? Well, that's a good question. Uh, you should have at the bottom of your chat window there. Uh, look at that beard. I know it's coming in. I like it. I actually do like it a lot. Uh, so, you can, there's a dollar sign here at the bottom of the chat window if you're on PC. You can do a super chat that way or. Uh, inside of link inside of the um, uh, description, I've got links to the stream elements, which basically does PayPal or credit card, either one you want to do, um, and it uh, makes it a little uh, a little easier. Uh, and then the one from uh, if you see the little dollar sign down there in the chat for the super chat, you have to enter credit card. I think for that, I'll, it doesn't do PayPal; it only does credit card. So, uh, yeah, your bats, you're, you're, it cause you support, man. You're a uh, sponsor. He's like, oh, I meant to turn that off. <laughs> oh, gosh. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what happens here. Let's see if this, uh, let's see if it pops up in chat. Oh, okay, it did. All right, well, there we go. So we got us a, we got us a, we got us a giveaway tonight. So let's do no active give. Okay, giveaway. Oh, wait a minute. It didn't add it. Oh, oh, there it is. Okay, here we go. All right. 
Hey, anyway, let me add some details here for guys. Uh, so we're going to add a, uh, let's see, a free copy of Dom's Chrome and Diesel Shop. Uh, Peterbilt. I'm just going to put 379. All right, so whenever this does, I'm going to set this up for uh, – Let's set these up for forty. Now let's well we'll we'll do, we'll do thirty. We'll do thirty. Everybody can join. And all right, here it is. A free copy of. Let me hang on. We got one last thing to do, and then we're done. And then we'll actually look at this truck. There, free copy of. Here we go. All right, saving this, and let's start it. So when you see this uh, inside of the chat pop up here, it's going to tell you what you got to do. Lightfoot, what's up, man? It should. Just give it a minute. All right, so there it is right there. So now you actually type in exclamation giveaway to enter it, all right? That's that's how it works, just like these guys are starting to do here. Yep, and y'all's names are coming through, so. We're good. And the guys in green, if you guys are members, uh, now it doesn't uh, it doesn't apply this later on, um, but uh, if you guys are um, uh, already a member of this via the start, so if your name's in green, you guys get automatically two tickets in, into it, all right? So you got twice a chance to win, and if you're a regular member, then you get one. So there's no restrictions on who can win. So if you're – never have seen me before you've never been in a stream then you still have as much of a chance to win it as some of the regulars do so good luck all right so while you guys are entering that i'm going to show you a little bit about this truck uh here that's that's not i'm not going to change a bunch of stuff just because i don't want to mess up the build but here's you got uh three or four new you see the merc uh which is like a chrome day uh, chromed cam actually you know what i probably can do this and I'll just exit all these out. So you got this one, new add-in right here, flat top. You got the 72-inch ultra uh, cab, which is what we have uh, already. Uh, and then you've now got a day cab and an ultra cab uh, as well, which actually looks pretty mean with the uh, with these types of builds. Uh, on side of the frame, you got everything from the two tens, which are your little shorty day cabs. You got three axles and those that got 305s in 330s and then you've got all your pusher axles so if you want to add that triple in there the pusher axle you can which is what we have in there tonight 330 rakes basically this one right here would be your stretched six by four uh, and that's as stretched and raked as you can go with this truck there's nothing any longer um and nothing any lower at least with this truck anyway but it gets i think it gets kind of cool when you're able to add uh in some of the pushers and that kind of stuff in there but you've got regular heights and lowered heights and all that other good stuff um, but the raked pusher is pretty, pretty bad at the bone. Uh, engine wise, that's, you pretty much get all the engines from Creech. So if you like the new N14, that'll all be included, uh, with this. Once the update rolls out, he'll have updates for that. Paints, all that stuff will update. There's a ton of, uh, you know, ton of strong transmissions in here. The interiors for this one though, uh, at least for right now, he's got them all laid into this. So you've got, um, you know, the gauges and stuff you can, but you can do all the changes of, um, uh, this plus you can do this trim plus you can do this trim. I think this trim now gets it. So you can trim all this stuff out to match, uh, trim out your floor, trim out your seats. Um, so it's got a lot of interior, uh, design stuff in here, which is really, really, really good. So, um, that's, that's the, that's the main gist of this is mainly going to be in your cabs, your frames, uh, your axles. And then he's also got these little four stack here. Uh, allows you to customize all of your suspension. So either your bags in the back or any of your suspension stuff versus the frame paint, you can make all of that stuff custom color, custom painted, um, or you can, uh, let's see, I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can do you know, purple underneath this, and you can do white on one part. So you can you can really, you can really deck this thing out pretty nice. Uh, I think he's got the same fenders on this one he did, I believe. 
He's got these. He's got the full ones, full chromed, half fenders. Yeah, yeah, then like the VTC custom fenders, which is probably one of my favorites. Um, but, yeah, that that's all still standard issue with the mod. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much what we got on this one. So he does have Facebook, Jeffrey. Um, uh, if you look in the link uh, down in the description, that's going to send you to the actual Dom's Chrome and Shop uh, page. Just send him a message from there. Join the group if you want to send him a message. Uh, if you want to purchase this, I just want everyone to, though, to know, uh, even if you give, give this given away, this is what's coming in the update. So we're kind of doing the sneak peek thing with this and also the trailer, which we're going to look at next. Um, I do not. Yes, I want to cancel all. Yes, there we go. Um, so I just want you guys to know that that's essentially on that one. That's It's coming in the update. So if you win the truck tonight, it is not going to look like this. OK, just want to make that very clear. <laughs> but, yeah, I think everybody can handle that. So. What's up, Justin Rido? Good to see you, man. And if anybody, um, if anybody sends some questions or something in there, uh, wheels and chrome the same. E uh, I don't know the wheels and chrome. I'm not sure what you mean there, Mike. You might have to re reclarify that one. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, exhaust options. Uh, well, there's a. I'll go. I'll show you. Uh, at least these now he's got. I think these are these are added. Um, let's see. Let me find the node for him. Yeah, yeah. So he's got basically the angle. He's got skinny ones. He's got mitered, and he's got the angle cut like the not. They're not full bullhorn uh, type deals, but they they kind of at least resemble it. I can't remember if this is all standard in the truck anyway. I know he's adding more. Um, I don't think, but I don't have that test version yet. Because he's working on them now. He's got a lot of new stuff. Yes, the paint chrome. He's done a lot with the tanks. Uh, he's still got all the, the same uh, D3D box paints on this thing, which are pretty nice. Uh, let's see. On the bumper side, though, I think he's added. Yeah, he's added quite a bit in here. Uh, so, yeah, he's got stock. He's got heavy bumpers in there, fat box paints now. So, they've got full painted ones, full chrome versions. So, if you want to do the blacked out versions like I like, He's added all that stuff in there, plus some bull, uh, some bull rack uh, as well, which are pretty nice. And I think, um, let's see, let me go back and add this one. So he's added some new stuff here. So we've got a couple different lights. We've got 359 style roundover lights, and then we've got the single square 379, which is really like service vehicles had these. And it seemed many trucks with these, like especially like this. He's got the 379 stock ones and the projector ones like he did before. Um, and then he's got a bunch of different custom shroud options for paint versus not paint. And then I think these, I don't know if these were on here last time. I cannot remember. Um, but now he's got slats. You can do them uh, regular slats. You can take these completely off if you want to and just go with the, the nice meshed over grills. Pretty slick. And I think there is a chrome versus a black option. Yes, yeah, so you can do a black mesh grill and then, you know, put your bars over the top of that if you wanted to, which, you know, I haven't said it looks, it don't look half bad. Um, but those are, those are some of the, just the, you know, those are some of the, the, the hard overs with this one. So I think he's got, uh, he did do the rise tie, did the fancy visor. I think these are new. And then some of these, if you look here, they actually uh, put the chops down here for you as well. So yeah, so there's there's a there there's a there's a lot of stuff that's uh, that's going to be coming in new for this one, and I know he's still working on the exhaust. So who knows? You know, sometimes these guys get on these trucks and then they never stop. They like get on there and start putting a lot. It's like I think a lot of people were kind of surprised that um, so many um, options came on the roll in 389, like when he got done. Because once he got on the roll with it, he just put a lot of stuff on there. So which is always good. So. Uh, so here's the trailer. I'll go real quick through this because this has uh, really got one that we haven't done yet. Uh, it may not look like a lot, but I think it's pretty cool that um, you actually kind of get two with this one. Uh, now you may not want to paint it like this, of course, um, which I would totally get. But you can do the, the chrome front there. Yeah, there we go. But for the slider fans out there, for a drop deck, we don't have a drop deck actual curtain slider truck. We have a bunch of flatbeds that are curtain sliders. But we don't have any that are full overs on this. So um, this is, like, pretty cool um, if, if that's your thing. I don't mind it. I actually like it. And then you can all go back down to flatbed and show the loads, that kind of thing. Um, but here is the quick and dirty on this. 
Now, I'm not going to change all the way through all this, but I'm going to show you. Um, and it, the thing is, he does a really good job of getting all your pictures and stuff in here. Um, so you got the four axle drop decks, three axles. You got two different, three different split axles. Then you've got front load and, and rear load uh, dual axles on this trailer. So there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, uh, eight, nine, ten uh, frame chassis uh, options with this trailer. And then he's got a ton of paint, basic or chrome, different uh, uh, different ones. And this basically. You'll see where some of these uh, some of these changes and stuff will take place. You've got these like with the uh, chrome with the the legs here, and then all of these things are really cool, man. I like these because um, you can actually take these if you don't want to load them in at all. You can take them off. Uh, you can put chrome boxes on these things. You can put the ramp paints on this, uh, and then you've got uh, oh yeah, you can do the chrome. I, that's what I should have done was the chrome ones. I don't know why I did the paint ones. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll do uh, we'll do these ramp chromes here. So I've got two sets of those, which I don't know why we need that many ramps on this trailer. But, you know, it just looked even. Of course, we have to do the other side as well because that's the only way it looks right. Tons of uh, light options if you guys want to, like, deck it out with lights. He's got tons of uh, lights that you guys can put on these things. Wheels and tires, pretty much anything you work. You can, you know, of course, do boxes in the middle. Um, cool thing is, now, I did have an issue with, and, uh, and I've got this video I sent to him. If this crashes... Don't worry, um, it may, I did run to an issue where this back uh, gate here, where it did crash on me earlier, um, and I'm not exactly sure if it's something that I did, but you've got painted, chromed, and standard issues of these, and then you've got these. So it actually can do um, the loadovers, um, because you have a lot of forklifts and a lot of drive-on uh, Caterpillar loads, we've got rock truck loads and stuff like that. Now you've got, and you can customize this to be chromed over. Um, it almost has like an Aussie feel to it, like the original, like drop deck slider trailers. Uh, it's kind of the same feel, and these things flip down. It's kind of, uh, it reminds me of uh, somebody help me, somebody help me out. Um, what's the gooseneck ones uh, for Farm Sim? A really popular, uh, the PJ, the PJ trailer. That's what it. That's what it reminds me of. Is the PJ trailer. So. Um, so yeah. But anyway, we go there. We can add our uh, we'll add our stuff back in. Uh, beacons. You can add those and inserts right here into the chrome. And you can see here, like right here, these little pins. So that's where you actually hook your ramps up to. Obviously, these ramps wouldn't. But I think it's kind of cool because at some point, you know, you have to look at you, you're you know you're paying a decent amount of money uh, for these types of trailers and for these types of trailers to kind of finally get some love on them and get a, like some really nice legitimate options. I mean, yeah, you can't use the pins. You can use them up here, you know. Um, obviously, you can't do anything with them, but the fact that they're there, that extra added bit of realism, that's kind of the stuff like, yes, yeah, what you're paying for, you know. That's what you're paying for. Um, so I'm going to leave that out, and, uh, yeah, let's do it, man. So, yeah, folding down. I know, man. I know. It's good stuff, man. So that's also in the uh, description. Now, it's pretty good as it is right now from him, uh, but this is what's coming in the update. So truck and trailer updates are coming. The trailer update is probably going to beat the truck. I would say the trailer is probably going to be out in this weekend, maybe beginning next week. Uh, but if you do buy it now, it's self I store for Pinga. Uh, make sure that you uh, put your email address to get updates for this, and then you'll get an update whenever he up updates the new version of that. So... Um, so yeah, so there we go. So pretty slick. So let's pick us up another load here. We are in Redding. Uh, I'll show you through some of the loads here the trailer's got, and it's got a lot of them, uh, and some decently heavy ones as well. Um, see here we got 123,000 pound coils, uh, which must be some heavy coils on there. Everything from tarp. He's also got these big tires, uh, which are kind of like a. Uh, I think these tires are kind of like a play on the special transport loads. Um, Pinga loves to do the special transport loads out of this, which we could actually do if you guys want me to. Uh, we can do – I was trying to find somewhere that we – oh, perfect, because this road is new. So all the way to Lakeview, this whole area right here has been redone. Sweet. Uh, the Gamers Gang, thanks for sub. Connor Harold, thank you there. Appreciate it. And Sandra Ransom, thank you there for the subs. Appreciate it. David Williams, what's up? Everything is good, man. <laughs> we'll do the yacht. Meh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I, there would be Z-Bullet, uh, probably most definitely. Um, yes, all of that. So you got containers, you got iron, uh, crane parts and those train axles, train parts you can put on this thing. Concrete tubes, Joselito's favorite load. 
Uh, here's the Cat 140 MZD, which is just the more than that scraper, the road scraper. Now, I don't think any of these the any of these are are, are done this way. But here's the here's the point I was making with the other ones. If you if you if you add the rear of the trailer that has the drop down, or if you want to put the racks and stuff underneath it, like this is where you would use it for a load like that. Because um, you obviously got to have some way to get it up on the trailer and get it off the trailer. Um, and that's where that would serve to, to actually put those on to attach to the end of the trailer. And that way it would look like you could extend it and then, you know, roll this right off. So I, I think that kind of stuff is pretty cool. It extends the game a little bit, gives you that extra little bit of role play with it. So um, so here we are. So let's go ahead and let's – I'm going to roll back here to the front, and we're going to grab uh, these tires in there. Yeah, the loads for ramps. Well, I'd have to change them. Yeah. Oh, the loads. Oh, yes. I forgot about the trailer browser. Where is the trailer brow vehicle browser? Blah. I forgot how to do this. My gosh. Uh, I don't want containers. What is that? Oh, wait a minute. Standard trailers. Fontana. There we go. Uh, um, oh, there it is. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Thank y'all. Let's see. I learned some. I actually, I have not done that in like forever. So <laughs> thank you, man. Appreciate that. Thank you there, Matt Coleman, for the sub as well. Uh, so he's got a lot of farm sim style loads on this thing, which is kind of cool. Got to have fertilizer. Let's see, coils. Yeah, he's even got them tarp, which is kind of cool. Building stuff. He's got all of the bricks on there. Uh, big tires. <laughs> this is the one we were going to pick, which is completely funny. Uh, you got the big uh, – I forget which one. That might be one of the SES ones. I think he usually puts some of those in there. I like the lumber loads are really cool on here. I'll show you some of the Caterpillar stuff, uh, all road construction stuff. Got the cat generators on there, which is nice. Concrete berries, Joselito's favorite favorite loads. Uh, nice case. Uh, <laughs> it's nice, man. Excavator on the flatbed. Hey, man, just haul it how you haul it how you got it, man. You might not have you a low boy. <laughs> oh man. Uh, let's see. And this is all the stuff in here, which is a lot. Uh, wood chipper from Farm Sim. You probably will look familiar with guys there. A couple different uh, stacks of iron. You know, I mean, literally, it literally has got all this stuff in here and all these all these loads on here, which is really nice. Yeah, you can even do the yacht on this thing, even though it's probably should just be on the other one. But, you know, you know, it is what it is. I mean, the center of gravity on this would be ridiculous. <laughs> I could imagine how, how uh, oh, those are cool. I like that, man. I like the portable tanks. Those are those are nice. Yeah, that that's pretty cool. I like the containers, man. So, yeah, so there you go. All of this stuff, uh, all, all of this stuff, man. It's 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 a little bit of everything, and some of this stuff is from uh, from ETS as well. I always like trying to get some of the the construction stuff because I always seems to be guys is, always seems to be stuff that guys want to get back and and get. So you got a front end loader there. You got the backhoe here, which is pretty cool. So yeah, I mean, there's a there's a ton of stuff. There's a ton of stuff. Um, so we did crane parts. Yeah, we got all this stuff, man. So the, I just like these because we just we just have different stuff. A lot of different stuff and a lot of different, you know, ways. And so you do essentially, you know, build up ramps on this if you wanted to do one of the big drive-on ones, you know. Uh, which, you know, if that's what you wanted, I mean, it could be cool. So, yeah, there we go, man. That did work out well for that trailer. I, I did, that did work out well. So now, now that we've seen what every what all we got, let's see what we can pull out of Redding. So I might try to pull something a little more exciting than the tires. Let's see what we got. We did tubes. Oh, iron, rant, containers, rant, crane parts, Cat 140 MZD. Where's this going? Oh, that's actually going right down the road. So how about let's do this. So let's let's do that. And before we leave, let's see if we can configure the trailer. Let's see if we can do this. So we'll get down here. We'll pull. Nope, I need the standard. 
No, I didn't want the Chrome deck. Hang on a minute. I uh, picked the Chrome one up here instead of the basic. There we go. And then I think right here. Yeah, okay. So now you can change them. So if you can do, rather do all basic, you can do Chrome. You can do black steps on this thing, which is kind of cool. So we should be, if I'm not mistaken. There we go. Chrome sides. <laughs> yeah. They're a little shiny. These things haven't been in the dirt yet. And then you got painted steps on the back. Which we'll do painted since it's sweet. And then we'll add, we got those. Let's see what's in here. We got oversized beacons. And I'm going to take those off. Okay. So the beacon should put it right up. I'm trying to see where they're at. Brake lights here. Okay, so they put those back up underneath the top. So they're kind of in they're kind of in there, kind of hidden. I might I might tell him, "Hey, let's pop these bad boys out and make them where you can see them." All right. Okay. <laughs> We're not doing concrete, man. <laughs> oh. Hey Connor, I'm good, man. Good to see you, man. All right, now let's uh, set our GPS up. I don't think it's saved. No, well, it doesn't seem like it did. Let's see, where was that caterpillar load? There it is. Ah, there we go. Oh, I hate, I hate, I hate. Most of this stuff, man, it's like there's no way you can actually get this stuff in and get it <laughs> get it to pulled around. Oh, I'm gonna wind up go flying here in a minute. Alright. Let's try that again. Oh well. Uh, with the long dash switches, been looking for a truck. Most of them are on the default. Yes, most of them are level type. Uh, the only ones you're probably going to find with the long switches are going to be Kenworths. Uh, I only know of one, uh, and I don't currently have it on me at the current moment. Um, it's a flat glass 900, and I think it's got the long custom. I think it's got the long custom ones on there. I think. All right, let's see. I hate, I hate pulling into this place. I despise it. Passion. The kicker is, is actually getting out of this place. That's what I find actually more hard than anything else. <laughs> yeah, against the wall. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I know. I know, Daboom. I know. It, 
you know, for those that are wondering. <laughs> there it is. Hey, we got the ramps. He's past the ramp. We're good. We ready to roll. <laughs> ready to rock and roll, man. Do it to it. Yeah, it's making this turn out of 80s, it's always hard. Because typical SES, they didn't give you a wide enough to do any kind of truck. Like, I don't even know, you can barely even get their Kenworths out of here. Yeah, level. That's, well, that's the way Pinga does. Like Pinga makes the the. I will say this: it's the it's the aggravating thing and the really good thing because most of all of Pinga's stuff like that, typically all of them, uh, literally spawn all the trailers at all the different places. So you could pick up heavy hauls and special transports, you know, style loads right out of you know eddies, or you'll pick stuff up at Walmart. So he doesn't, he, he puts so many loads in that if you don't differentiate where they all get picked up at, he just says, you can pick anything up anywhere. Like, but you're not going to have a shortage of having loads for his trailer, which I can appreciate because, I mean, a lot of times, man, I, there's a certain amount of realism that I'll take. And then after that, I'm like, yeah, no, no, I, I can't do it anymore, man. This is getting, like, a little too ridiculous. Like, if I was doing it anymore, I'd just go, like, actually do the job. Good old hill climb out of, uh, <laughs> out of Sacramento, it feels like. You go straight up. Yeah, well, we got we got ramps and we got that on there. <laughs> Let the wind roll through our hair for a bit. So we'll be, um, actually, tell you what, let's look at the map real quick. Oh, we're going back south. Okay. All right, so we're going down to the sack. Okay, never mind. Never mind. Hey, Zeus. Uh, we are in the Cat C15 6NZ from Z Mods. Yeah, I was going to put them on there. I think think yeah they're, they're they're shining through on the bottom yeah they're actually attached to the bumper underneath yeah I didn't really even think about it <laughs> it's sack uh, Mac the nation what's up man See what we're at. Sixty-eight thousand. Terry Horney, what's up, man? Good to see, you, man. Uh, Cloaky cloak. C Y Chloe. Uh, no, I don't really do it because mine change so often. Um, I have considered putting a, you know, video up of my my go tos. Um, so that's that's going to be coming here this coming week. Um, let's go ahead and tell you. Uh, but I'm gonna basically put all of my to go tos, what I what I normally use, what's always in the mod folders, um, and then you know really kind of how because you know, I've got about six profiles now. Um, I do try to keep some of the actual people. I try to keep them uh, separate just because they usually their trucks work well with their own trucks, and sometimes vice versa it doesn't really work. Like trying to put Roland 3D9 with John Roland. Yeah, I mean. Uh, John Root is 389. It just it just doesn't work, and they're usually 
a lot of issues uh, that come up with that. So try to alleviate some of that and keep it keep things clean. There's just no way I could really do all the amount of mods and stuff that I have. I mean, I think every profile's got about 70 in it, so I there's I just couldn't do it. And I need to thin it down too. I've been doing a lot of testing for 141. Uh, just trying to you know get a little bit better with knowing what's working with what, what's not. I can even tell now, like there's something in this particular mod folder that I don't have in another one. It's making the lights blossom. See the lights like this? They should be doing that. And that's not his fault. <laughs> Thank you there, Aussie Dave. Appreciate it, man. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it, man. $10 donation there from Aussie Dave. Awesome, dude. Oh, good. Yeah. Well, good, Azus. Good, man. Glad. That's the whole option. I mean, the whole, uh, the whole, the whole idea behind it. And, and, you know, stuff like this. If you notice, there's, there's things that are off about a mod. Typically, nowadays, we're talking about mod conflicts. We really are. And I mean, it's, um, it's kind of sad that we're to that point with these. Uh, but I think we've just gotten to the point where um, we've got so many people making stuff and might not necessarily know how to make it compatible with other people's mods, or might not even know what that even looks like. Um, there's obviously, uh, it's probably a trailer because I've got a ton of trailers in these profiles trying to test through them all to make sure that most of them all work the way they should. Um, and what happens, you get, you know, a guy mask over something and he puts something together in the trailers and does something with the lights that doesn't really work out that great with the trucks. And then all of a sudden it's like something happens and it doesn't work or it does this and it bleeds light over on the trucks and messes it up. So... So we'll, uh, I tell you what, before we, everyone freaks out, hang on a minute. Let me, uh, let me go ahead and resume entries. Um, so I will resume entries. Oh yeah, man. we got a lot of users in that one. All right. So once we, uh, once we get rolling with that, um, once we get our, our new place here, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do a drawing for this truck. So I think this truck is, uh, this truck is 40 Mac and a good deal for 40. Um, the update is going to be worth it. I think it was a little bit a little bit light at the first part um and and i'll you know this is a good chance for me to be honest with you guys i'm typically a little bit like i just want to know and i want some confirmation uh from these guys that you guys potentially will buy you know mods and stuff from especially once you get up around the 40 50 60 mark like there needs to be a real at least an attempt for a solid uh either vouch for who you are or needs to be some type of a, a vouch for just like uh going back and updating, adding parts and pieces to the truck, um, you know, for multiple updates. Um, I think, you know, the life of ATS is a little far-fetched. I don't think anyone, after they create something for 20 bucks, ought to, like, completely do it for free for the rest of its duration. Um, and so, I, I'm a little bit on the fence with that kind of thought frame, uh, but I understand how people um, get in the same... I, I understand how they get into that to get into the, the sale game by itself. But... Uh, this will be the first big update for Dom's, and so for 40, uh, 40 bucks with this plus the update that he's got, uh, would I say it's worth it? Yeah, I'd say it's worth it. Um, it's 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 really nice. It's really nice. he's doing a really really good job with the truck, and it looks it looks incredible too. So. Dev's got a road grade on top of the flatbed. It's all right. Nobody worry. It's all good. We know what we're doing here. <laughs> How do you do the drawing level one? So basically, I click a button here on Streamlabs, uh, and it says pick winner. And what it does is through all the people that have entered it, it picks somebody's uh, pick somebody's winner at random. And then it tells you, a Streamlabs bot tells you in chat who it was. So it's pretty, uh, you know, it's about as fail proof as I've ever gone. Yeah, my only stipulation with any of these giveaways is if, if you at least got to be here. I don't give away and chase people down to give them mods. So if, if, the, if the number one winner is not here, then we'll draw it again until someone is here and can claim it in chat. So if you've entered the giveaway, you're like, man, I'm fixing to go to bed, man. I hope he hurries up. We've got 54 miles, and then we'll be at our first uh, little destination here with this one, and then we'll draw a truck, all right? And I think, um, and I hate doing like two and three drawings a night because it gets, it gets overbearing. Um, so if we do, 
<laughs> trying to think. If we do, how about we do this? How about we do one tonight? And then, because we still got to give away a tanker from, uh, from what's his name, from Trailblazer. So we still got a tanker we got to give away. So how about we do one truck tonight, and then we'll do a truck trailer combo for Tyrone's Booth and Paints uh, ATS uh, tanker, fuel tanker trailer. How about we do an epic combo giveaway for Dom's 379 plus the tanker the Trailblazer bought for you guys, or someone to have. And then on release day of the update, we'll do another one for this one. How does that work? And basically, I'm asking the guys that donated money. That's really who I'm asking. <laughs> if, if they're like, yeah, no, draw it tonight. I'll draw it tonight. But if they're like, yeah, no, that actually sounds like a really good deal, then that's what we'll do. You might like, yeah, I'm game, sure. Whatever. Works for me. <laughs> It's all good? Okay. All right. Because I think that's a, that's a way to get three really good giveaways and get them fresh, and then we'll push it. We'll announce it, uh, especially if you guys have these in your already in your arsenals already, then you guys can let your buddies know or your other VT Sim, mer uh, sim members and um, other discords or whatnot. It's like, hey, if you use give it, giving a truck away tonight, show up. It's going to be good. However, it's, it's kind of easier that way. Sometimes I'm just thinking like it'll be the best because if you guys know it's you can be looking for that combo with the tanker and then we'll do we'll do a giveaway for that plus the tanker so whoever wins that one's gonna be like an ultimate all right so you'll win Tyrone's booth and paints tanker plus you'll win Dom's 379 and then once he updates and makes the update official we'll officially give our last copy of that away how's that that sound I I think. I mean, I think that works pretty good. That's like three really, really, really nice drawings and, you know, three really good streams there. So, Well, Lone Racer, uh, if you don't, uh, you, we've, got, we've got a few guys. Um, uh, well, we got more than a few. We've got more than a few guys here that, uh, that, are, that are rolling on ours a lot. And they're always in the Discord. They're always driving. So, you know, you see like Freightliner fan and Trucker Dad and, Timbo, myself, whoever, I mean, you're more than welcome to jump in those Discord channels and uh, and truck with the guys that are there. I know Old Timer and Wolf918, Bear, those guys have been doing some multiplayer convoys as well, so, you know, you have to run by yourself, man. We don't really care, and I always get in trouble when I say this, we really don't care about anybody in the VTC. Like, you can drive, now, if you drive a million miles, it's pretty special. Uh, but if you're just, uh, you know, driving like endless miles and want all these shout outs like we really don't keep up with stats too much uh, i'm terrible at that but what i do like is i like to see guys that get involved with the discord as well whether that's through uh just text or whether or not you jump into voice chats and actually uh you know meet some of the guys because there's a lot of really really stand-up dudes in here so that for me man that's what it's about you know i mean the truck stuff i mean it's fine it's cool like i just don't want to i don't want people to feel like it's a job you know because I don't, I don't get anything out of it and, and to my knowledge, nobody else gets anything out of it either, you know. Um, so it's it's for me, man. It's uh, it doesn't support the the YouTube channel. The YouTube channel doesn't support the company. Uh, it's just something on the side, man. We do for fun. So, Richard, we are not doing a convoy yet. Not until TMP updates. TMP updates, then yes, we'll start doing that. Chris Buchanan, what's up, man? All right, so y'all don't forget, man, we're fixing to drop this load off, and then we're going to give away one of Dom's 379 trucks. So make sure that you guys got the giveaway. If you've seen your name flash across here where it says something like uh, you've entered the giveaway and it puts your name in there, then you're good to go. I wonder if we could do that. Hmm. Let's, let's, go, for, let's go for a challenging. Might have to, we might have to freeze the... Uh, Of course, it's got to be busy.
thought it would give it. <laughs> it did give it. <laughs> oh, we, we almost had it, man. I was almost the one shot. Almost pulled the whole shot there. Uh -oh. uh, we didn't get we didn't get the rear of that trailer ever far quite far enough. Oops, uh, we are, I wasn't even paying attention. I'm looking at something totally different. Uh, my bad. We almost had it though. It was close. There we go. I had to unload it. <laughs> yeah, for the wheel to zone. <laughs> Almost in one try. Yeah, this actually this truck's actually really good. Even even the the longer chassis, it it's not too bad. Some of them, I think some of it's the trailer man. I don't know what it is. Some of the uh, some of the bull haulers, man. I, I can't I can't figure them out, man. They take me forever to back those bull haulers in. I don't exactly know why. Uh, all right, so. All right, we got hundreds in here. <laughs> got hundreds, hundreds, hundreds of names. So let's close her down shop and be it explosions. Hola. Cedar, sir, what's up, man? Hold on one. I saw when I said a whole shot. I was like, wait a minute. That's dirt bikes, right? That's dirt bikes. <laughs> All right, here we go. Picking a winner. Somebody's going to get them a copy. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, when you get this, I am going to need your email. And the best way to do it is through, you can do it through here. Um, you send me your email, uh, and I will uh, send that over to Dom's Diesel and Chrome Shop. Um, and then, and it could, uh, it uh, needs to be a Gmail, I think, is what he does, because I think he does them through, um, uh, just does them through Google Drive, and he'll basically share the folder with you. Um, and then he'll put you into that group. So that way, when updates come out, it'll come straight to your Google Drive and you won't have to bug him to send you an update, um, if that makes sense. Um, so it's about the best way to do it. But um, I, think that's the, I, I, think that's, I think that's the way he does it. Some of them do it differently. Some of them have self ice stores. Like I said before, if you guys, if you wind up do buying this tonight or if you buy the trailer tonight, you will not look exactly like what I have in here because these are the sneak peek updates for these trucks and trailers uh, tonight because I thought, man, it's just too good to have both of these on there. So, uh, Beta, thank you there, man. Appreciate it. $2. Yeet. Sheesh. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. But the two dollars. So thank you, man. Uh, yeah, Gmail. That's what I thought. Thanks, David. Um, so that'll be what. Uh, that's what you'll need. So I just need your email. I'll give that to him. Uh, I'll cover all the charges for it, and then he'll send you an email with your link to the truck. Now, just just remind you when you get the truck, it will be fully functioning. Uh, nothing will not be not, like not working. Um, this update is a content update. All right. So that's all you need to know. So it'll still have. A really, really awesome truck to drive around. Uh, but all of these new frames and cabs and all this stuff will be in the update that's coming up, hopefully within the month or so. So just want to like, just want you guys to understand that, thinking, well, I didn't get what FTG had. i just making that clear. Because I knew today it was going to be dangerous doing a stream like this. So, all right. Here we go. Let's, uh... All right, here we go. Let's, uh... Let's see. What I was trying to think. We got another... We got another camera view here that's uh, a little more. I feel like that. It gets all out of whack up there. All right, here we go, chat. Look alive, look alive, look alive. Picking a winner right now. <gasps> no. <laughs> oh, look who won. Look who won. Look who won. Night Rider, Night Rider. Is Night Rider in the chat? If he's not, we keep on drawing. <laughs> he's like, ah, oh, bear, bear, bear. All right, Night Rider, congratulations, buddy. 
So you won, man. Uh, you can see there for anybody that's asking who won Streamlabs up there, Knight Riders won a free copy. So um, that's all done through Streamlabs, and um, it's really a good, a good, uh, it's really a good deal. So uh, <laughs> I was like, yeah, I'll see him. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations, man. Um, and so here's what we're going to do. Um, let's see. Um, tonight's been, let's see, wait a minute. I was trying to think what else we could do. Um, i tell you what, let me, let me do this. How about let's pick a, I'm going to pick a flash game for somebody out here. All right. So I tell you what, before I do this, Knight Rider, make sure you let me know. Uh, are you in the discord Knight Rider? Please tell me you are. Makes it a lot easier. And if your name is actually Knight Rider. Mm. <laughs> oh, Todd. Oh, you need to get my desk card. I mean, you can send me your email on here, but it's usually better just to do it through that. You know what I mean? Yeah, Pete McClanahan got you there. So he's the Discord's coming up. So click that, join it. And then click on my right click on my name at the top and then send me uh, a DM of what your email is. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Y'all getting weird in here, man. Epic domain. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it, man. Um, I was trying to think of something else we could do. Um, so, all right. So here's our, here's our, here's our giveaway. Here's our giveaway schedule. So, um, I'll tell you what, here, let's just draw another name. How about we draw another name for, um, for, uh, okay. All right. We'll do that. that that's fine. Night Rider. I just need to, I just need to be able to notate this down because I'm, I'm well, this is what I'm going to give him. So, you know, you just let me know what it is. <laughs> <Da -boom. laughs> Moly Mo, what's up, man? Why is this not open? This is weird. Ah, oh, there it is. All right, so let me know what your email is. Especially Gmail would be best. And if you have to get back to me, then I can give you my email. Oh, perfect. All right. All right. So I think I don't even, it, it's automatically going to hide it for you. Uh oh. All right. So I got you there, Ryder. All right. So you're good there. I got your email. And <laughs> so I can hide that so that way nobody will even see it. So sweet. That worked out really well. All right. So I'm going to take that same drawing uh, and uh, let's give away one of the, uh, let's give away a trailer. It's been a really good night. You guys have uh, really, really, really been super, super nice uh, to me. Uh, so how about we give away one of the trailers for um, for the Pingas update? So, goodness gracious, I'm like on it. So, all right, here we go. Let's draw another winner right out of that list. If you've already got it, let me know. We'll draw another one. So here we go. And this could take a while, depending on, because people are like, yeah, I don't know if that's me or not. Uh, Thunderwolf 5150. Is Thunderwolf in, in the house? I'll give him a couple sec. I'll give you guys more than a few seconds. So this is for, uh, we'll give away, um, one of the, uh, the trailers for Penguins trailers. So Thunderwolf 5150, let me know if you're here. <laughs> All right, man. Thunderwolf 5150. Look at this. We had two for two tonight. Sweet. Okay. All right. Before anybody goes anywhere, because I know everybody's like, oh, I didn't win. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Here's going to be our giveaway schedule, all right? So we have um, – we obviously have this one tonight. So the truck, we've got three of these trucks to give away. Um, so the second truck, we'll do a – if you guys are uh, – if you remember, uh, Trailblazer bought uh, the tanker that we just did, the fuel tanker. So we're going to take the fuel tanker, and we're going to take this one, and we're going to gift an epic combo of one of each. So you'll get a trailer – uh from tyrone's booth paint designs you'll get that one and then you also get one uh you'll get dom's 379 so you'll get both of them in the epic giveaway 
and then once the truck goes live and the update goes live for everybody, then we'll we'll push out an update. Um, not an update. When he pushes the update out, we'll do a final third giveaway for the truck that evening. All right? So that's literally – that's going to be our thing. So now you guys know – uh, when all this stuff happens, if you see the update come up or make sure you're subscribed, make sure that you're at least checking um, and checking when we're going to do. We're going to have begin this week. We'll have a brand new truck uh, that is super, super, super nice. Uh, and it's also got a few new. I'm working on a few other different mods uh, of trying to pull some different combos and different uh, different builds of trucks around a little bit to kind of coincide with some of these new trailers and new stuff that we really haven't done in a while. Uh, so expect maybe a couple building drives, uh, doing some different things with them. Hopefully, if not, we'll try to do kind of what we did tonight and show you through some of the new updates for some of these trucks. Obviously, 362s from uh, Chaos Shadowwalker as well as John Arruda. We've got that coming out. Um, so there's like there's actually a lot of stuff. We're kind of in a lull right now with stuff. And so um, I've got a, a few video ideas I want to try to get out next week. Um, and then we've got some of this in there. So just, just know when you see... Uh, the big combo stuff come up and the tanker and stuff. We're giving one of those away with the 379, and then we're also going to give one away whenever the truck actually updates itself. And I'll try to get him to post that out, uh, let everybody know we're going to give one away in the stream that night and all that other kind of stuff. So, uh, sorry, what happened to Full Tilt 503? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, he, The rumor was that he got hacked uh, and he deleted all of his stuff. I don't know that that's necessarily true. Um, I think he deleted all the videos on his channel and then tried to rebuild and rebrand himself because he didn't want to do trucking anymore um, or he was trying to branch out to other stuff and um, he thought by deleting all that it might reset him somehow. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. After that, after he deleted all his stuff, he tried. He went live a few times, did some videos, like maybe two or three, and then I never saw him again. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I hate that, you know, when you never know what happens to guys. Um, so, but anyway. Uh, so, anyway, it's good, man. It's really, really, really good stream, man. Uh, a lot of people to thank, man, uh, especially these guys. I'm, I'm going to – we had some just a lot of small donations tonight, man, which are just really, really, really awesome to have. Let me um, – especially Cobra Gaming uh, Creations there for one of the giveaways. Z-Bullet for one of the giveaways – and David for one of the giveaways, man. It's all three of those guys. It's very, very, very nice of you guys. So do not forget, and I'll say it again, don't forget, tonight was one, and then we'll have another with combo with Tyrone's Booth Paint and Designs Fuel Tanker. So when you see those two go live, then you'll know we're going to be doing a giveaway. I'll put it in the chat, or I'll, sorry, not the chat, I'll put it in the title so you guys know that's what we're doing. Um, just know it's going to have the same form and function like it did tonight. We'll draw the same. We'll do all the same stuff. Um, oh, my gosh. Bam. The big homie Mac comes in with a slam dunk to close the game down. Thank you there, big homie Mac. Appreciate it, man. $50. Bam. See you later, man. <laughs> that needs more to break her one nine right there, man. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate that as always, man. You guys are awesome. Uh, and I look forward to some more videos this week, some new trucks this week. And, uh, and those giveaways, as soon as we get some update info and figure out where Dom's at on that, then we'll give that one away when he gets that one done. So uh, there's all of your update giveaway info for this week. So make sure you guys are following the channel. Uh, come back and, uh, and hang out with us. And who knows? Just like Knight Rider, Thunderwolf here, you might just, uh, you know, might wind up walking yourself right into a brand new truck, to, uh, brand new truck this week. So it's going to be good, man. So anyway, thank you guys very much. Um, and yes, uh, yeah, I'm actually going to do a video on that red wagon. So good question. Um, so let me, let me just do real quick new members here as well. Uh, gosh, Jamal, man. Uh, all right. So I'm going to start here at the top. Uh, thin air diesel, Matty B, uh, Tony speaks, thin air diesel, silly Sally. Uh, Wom no, Wombash, he, yeah, he simmed. All right. So those guys right there, Patrick Woodcock, uh, Jamal Tyson, air boss, Brian King, Z bullet, Patrick D, uh, David, uh, Thin Air Diesel there. Again, Gober came in, uh, Creations. Jeffrey, oh, no, he was just sub, sorry. <laughs> uh, Ozzy, Dave there with TN, White Rebel, Beat Explosions, and Big Homie Mac all with 
Uh, super fantastic, fabulous uh, donations tonight, man. So thank you guys very much. Uh, appreciate it as always. And then we'll be back here, uh, here beginning of this week. I uh, got a new truck, and then hopefully as soon as these, some, of these th some of these things start rolling out, uh, I'll be able to get you guys into some more giveaways for some more stuff. So who knows, man? You might be rocking out with a brand new truck this week. So it should be exciting, man. You guys have a good one. If you're looking for this truck, if you want to go ahead and buy it, you don't want to wait on giveaways and the probability that you really probably won't win, um, <laughs> then uh, descriptions, uh, uh, all the links are in the description. So I've got a link for the trailer we pulled tonight for Pingas Fontaine uh, and this truck. Just remember, it's not updated yet with all the content. It works. It updates just fine in 141. Uh, so if you do buy it tonight, you'll get the truck. You'll just get it in its pre-update form, okay? Just want to make sure that you know that right out of the gate. Um, uh, I guess as we shut the gate tonight. Um, so if you're just joining us or coming in late, just want to make that clear. You will not look exactly like mine, all right? So other than that, that is it, man. Happy birthday to Old Timer. I see he's got a – he was a birthday today. So uh, adios, El Trelero. Billy, we'll see you next time. Hasta, I would say manana, but um, it's probably not going to see you in the morning. So what's what's see you next time? Is that Luego? I can't remember what it is. Hasta Luego. I can't remember what the see you next time. Anyway, awesome stream. Thank you, David, for coming. Thank you there for your donation as well, man. Big homie, Mac. You guys are awesome. Cobra gaming creations uh it's really nice to have you guys around so Joselito, peace out my man i'll see you guys here all in the next live stream beginning this week let's just go ahead and settle on settle on monday night all right i'm gonna see you guys monday night take tomorrow night off hang out with the fam and all that other stuff uh and then i will see you guys monday night Does that sound good monday night and then we'll uh we'll we'll, we'll do something we'll do something really nice i got a new truck on monday night so we'll do a build and drive on monday night how about that do a build. We'll do a little build and drive. Anyway, you guys are awesome. Thank you all very much. We'll see you here in the next one. Absolutely, man. Be safe. You guys have a great rest of your night and a great rest of your weekend. Stay safe. We'll see you here Monday night, guys. Peace out.